Uh, sticking with goalies, I guess. Uh, Logan Thompson. Uh, I don't know if his number were here directly, but I know he's below Aiden Hill, and I just I can't agree with that one. I just I think people kind of forget how good Logan Thompson was. I know you know the. I think that there was there were a point we were looking at him getting Vesna Trophy votes, not not a serious contender to be the winner, but like there was a lot of attention there early on, and he was a like he definitely received some Calder votes. Um, but then that injury, the second half that year, taking him out essentially for all about one game. Um, I don't know. I just feel like Hill being higher than him is more of a recency bias thing, but I, I feel like they got to give Thompson the, the benefit of the doubt early in the season, given just how well he played. I know, again, the, some of the surface level stats, nothing spectacular, but for a guy who's having to come in and basically be a starter as a rookie, given his track record, I think that there's still a lot of potential for him to, to be a really good goalie here. So I felt him being much lower than Aiden Hill. I, I didn't agree with that one. Yeah, I think, you know, recency bias is a good way to put it, but my point in ranking Hill higher, and I have Logan Thompson down at 231st, is the Vegas Golden Knights are going to have recency bias toward the guy that took them to the Stanley Cup. And they are paying him now $4.9 million a year. Money talks, and that is not the salary of a 1B. That's the salary of a 1A. So clearly, Aiden Hill is going into the season as the starter. They would not be paying him that much money if that wasn't the case. And when he's got a ring, it would be a slap in the face for them to not give Hill the first look. And I agree, Logan Thompson's been very good in what we've seen from him, but it's still a relatively small sample size. And Aiden Hill is another is a guy that we were saying a year ago had been pretty good in Arizona too. So in his mm -hmm. small sample size, he's also given plenty of reason for confidence. So I do still think Logan Thompson's draftable because just the way Vegas uses their goalies, I don't think Aiden Hill's going to start 60 games. I could see it being something like, you know, 45 or 50 starts for Hill and you have thompson in the 30 range so to me that makes him draftable but when he is clearly the 1b going into the season coming off a major injury that cost him the year and has a small sample size there's more downside with him than with hill and that's why i have to have him as the 1b